Good evening and welcome. I'm Jim Hayden, First Selectman, and I call this meeting to order at 7.30 on the nose. Want to uh, just do a couple house cleaning things, uh, housekeeping things, I should say. Um, the program is being taped uh, and will be televised on, C uh, on CTV, Granby, CT uh, Granby as in GCTV. I kept on saying CPTV. Uh, we're not that big, it's just for local <laughs> access. Uh, the, uh, also, uh, usually we have uh, 30 handouts and I take 25 of them back. There's, tonight I put out 15 and it looks like they're all gone, but there's handouts on the back there and I'm sure you can share with some of your other folks. Uh, the uh, uh, next order of business is the reading of the warning, and I ask the town clerk to come forward. Notice is hereby given that a special town meeting of the town of East Granby, Connecticut, will be held at the town hall meeting room on Monday, December 16, 2019, at 7:30 p.m. for the following purposes: one, to elect a moderator; two to consider and act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $44,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase emergency extraction equipment and accessories for the fire department as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Any unexpended funds are to be returned to the capital fund. Three, to consider and act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $25,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase and equip a utility vehicle, UTV, with brush fire equipment and transport accessories as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Any unexpended funds are to return to the capital fund. Four, to consider and act upon a resolution to amend chapter 255, article seven of the East Gravy Town Ordinances to amend the total abatement amount for certain first responders. Five, to consider and act upon a resolution to amend chapter 280, article one of the East Gravy Town Ordinances to amend to affirmative state obligations to disabled individuals. Dated in East Granby, Connecticut, this 26th day of November, 2019, signed by James M. Hayden, first selectman, Joe Doring, selectman, John Zeobro, selectman. A copy of this notice was posted on the town sign board on December 5th, 2019, and a copy there was posted in the December 11th, 2019 issue of the Hartford Current. Thank you very much. Next order of business is the election of the moderator. Do I have a nomination for moderator? I'd like to nominate Brad Wolf, please. Do I have a second? Second. Any other nominations? Do I have a motion to close nominations? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. So we'll vote on closing nominations. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? All those in favor of Brad Wolf as moderator, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Attentions? Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Good evening, everyone. By way of housekeeping, if you have, uh, except for the fire department, alarms can be, go off, <laughs> please. But otherwise, if you have a phone, please silence it so we don't have to hear everybody, how you hear your conversation. Also, if there's any question as to whether or not you're allowed to vote, um, let me know. In order to vote at a town meeting, you must be an elector of the town of East Granby or a citizen age 18 or older, jointly or severally, is liable to the town for taxes assessed against you on an assessment of not less than $1,000 on the last completed grandness of the town. Um, as Mr. Hayden said, there are, well, there were, documents on the back to help you fill in the blanks, um, including those of the last town meeting of August 27th, 2019. Um, I would uh, ask for a motion to waive the reading of those minutes. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor of waiving the reading of the minutes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Seeing none. I'd request a motion to accept the minutes of the August 27, 2019 special town meeting. So moved. So I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? 
All in favor of accepting the minutes, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Seeing none, the motion is carried. Now to get to the business of the evening, um, I request a motion to consider a, to act upon the appropriation of $44,000 for emergency equipment purchase. Mr. Ravensaker. Uh, yes, I move the adoption of the following resolutions. Be it hereby resolved that a sum not to exceed $44,000 from a capital non-recurring fund to purchase emergency extraction equipment and accessories for the fire department with any unexpected funds to be returned to the capital fund as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, I'd just like to note that there is a pretty extensive packet that's available if somebody's looking at this on TV and they can get it either the town clerk's office or the first selectman's office if they wish to look at it. Would anyone care to comment on this motion? Mr. Hayden? Yes. Uh, two points that I'd like to bring up before I got started, or you get started. One is that this is not new money. This is not, this is all part of money that was approved in May as at the uh, town uh, annual budget. We have a four-legged stool, we have the uh, Board of Education funding, we have the Board of Selectmen or General Government funding, we have debt payment, um, and then we also have capital. So we're not spending new money, we're spending money that was already approved. When we break them up into individual projects, that's when we, uh, we go to town meeting because you are the, um, the uh, legislative body for the town is specifically when it comes to financial matters. So we thank you for coming this evening. Uh, and um, the other thing I want to remind everyone is the two items that we're discussing tonight are uh, the, um, normally we get three bids, but when it's on the state VIP bid list, which the state's already done the bidding process for us, uh, and the vetting, um, we, uh, by our policy, do not need to get three bids. We just go with the state, uh, the, the VIP list, which we have done so with this, these two particular purchases. I'll start with the first one. Uh, the uh, extraction equipment, um, anticipated cost to purchase uh, the extraction equipment uh, for the uh, volunteer fire department is $60,000, but the volunteer fire department at a previous, uh, at, at their uh, annual meeting uh, with the Christmas, uh, the chief's party, presented to the town $17,000. So in this particular case, we're asking for capital of 44,000, a sum not to exceed $44,000. Uh, and the difference will be used, uh, uh, the funding will be from the volunteer firefighters. And they get that money through unrestricted donations, but also um, the Christmas trees, of which it looks like it was a great sale. I mean, I can't remember not seeing, you know, were you 25 trees light maybe? Or, but I mean, it was just phenomenal. It, so the support of the town is phenomenal, and the fact that the volunteer fire department gives back to the town in addition to all that they do is wonderful. Uh, the, uh, the current emergency extraction equipment is the Jaws of Life. Uh, and it has two issues. One, uh, it being it's close to the uh, close to or past the manufacturer's life expectancy, and some equipment does not meet the challenges in today's environment when it comes to rescue and extrication. Advanced power <coughs> steel is very difficult to open, um, and uh, it can have a tensile strength of up to 400,000 psi. Um, from January 1st through 2000, uh, 1st uh, of this year through October 31st, there have been 104 car accidents in East Granby, several of which have re uh, required the use of the extraction equipment. At the time I wrote this, um, it, this it was uh, two in the past 30 days. Um, four major highways run through our town, Route 20, Route 187, Route 189, and Route 540, which is Hatchet Hill. The fire department's proposing to purchase uh, several pieces of equipment that I lay out. The Hearst SP55E2 cutter for $12,850. The Hearst spreader for $13,085. The Paratech Interstate Motorway Vehicle Stabilization Kit. 
if you'll see the pictures that are in the pre in the in the uh, information, you'll see that some of the extrication equipment uh, is hydraulic. Uh, and so you can be pushing it over the hoses and everything, and they don't have the spray that the new uh, proposed units do. And also you'll see pictures of two by fours or four by fours uh, that are used to stabilize vehicles, uh, which uh, is not the way to go. Uh, so the, uh, uh, there also is a hydrofusion strut kit for $6,877, a high pressure lift bags for $8,197, the added all together is $60,238, of which $44,000 is the capital request. As mentioned by the moderator, there are there's some detailed information in here. There's pictures, and there's a. Uh, I want to thank the fire department, um, both committees uh, that uh, for the two different items, that uh, on the amount of research that they did made it really easy for us to. Uh, be able to bring it to the town and be able to discuss with you what it is we're trying to do. So um, with that said, that's a, uh, that's a quick overview. Is there any questions? Or, well, I should let the, the moderator ask that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Would anybody else care to comment? No further comments? I'll call the motion then. All in favor of ado adopting the motion is read. Please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Neither opposition nor abstentions. The motion is carried. Second motion is to consider an act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $25,000 for the equipment of a utility vehicle. Ms. Hayden. I move the adoption of the following resolution. Be it hereby resolved that a sum not to exceed $25,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase and equip a utility vehicle, UTV, with brush fire equipment and transport accessories with any unexpected funds to be returned to the capital fund as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Is there a second? Second. Again, I note that in the packet that was available, there's a pretty good description of what this is all about. Um, and would anybody care to address this, Mr. Hayden? Yes, please. The cost of purchasing a Polaris utility vehicle and equipment from the state VIP list is $12,229, I'm sorry, $12,329, with $12,491 allocated for brush fire equipment and transport accessories for a total of $24,820. Um, there are isolated areas throughout town, such as Metacomet Ridge, Coles Park, the, where the, uh, it's one of the top two or three motocross areas uh, uh, in the state, in, in New England, rather. And Terrafield Gorge uh, are another isolated area where its um, full-size apparatus cannot navigate their way into uh, these areas in case of emergency. Emergency response to these areas entails firefighters uh, carrying anywhere from 50 to 80 pounds worth of equipment uh, up the ridge, down the gorge, uh, uh, across the motocross track at uh, Coles Park, and um, the, uh, it can be very unfriendly and unforgiving terrain. Once the firefighters reach their location, they need to be poised for immediate action. Currently, the fire department does, uh, does not have a, a mobile uh, rescue vehicle to address situations like this. And they determined that the UTV uh, would meet its needs in case of emergency, and that it should have the combined capacity for rescue and firefighting. It will have a load capacity that will handle a combination brush fire rescue unit, including a water reservoir, stretchers, and the ability to transport firefighters in and out of the scene. Uh, the, um, again, it was very well researched with a lot of good information that's attached. And basically what it will uh, let the fire department do is to go uh, more easily, more effectively, and quicker to uh, rather isolated spots where you can't take some of our equipment. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Would anybody else care to comment? Seeing nobody, all in favor of adopting the resolution as read, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Any abstentions? Neither opposition nor abstentions. The motion is carried. Our next order of business is to consider and act upon a resolution to amend the town ordinances to uh, amend the total abatement amount for certain first responders as recommended by the Board of Selectmen. Again, the information is on the back table, and if it's not there but you wish to see it, town clerk's office, first selectman's office will have that. And the website has it on. And the website. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Um, as a former EMT, it was nice to have something like this in, in, in place, and I think it's well-deserved, but would anyone else care to comment? Any right. questions? Right. Did we have a motion? Uh, no, the motion. No. I guess I need a motion. Yeah. Okay. I move to a reading of the amended ordinance. Second. Second. What he just asked for is to not have to read the whole thing because the whole thing will take a long time. <laughs> second. Second. I heard a second. Yes, a second. Thank you for correcting me. Now, is there any discussion? Yes. Would you good. like to address us? Jim? I, I do have a little bit more to read here. Please do. Okay. Yeah. I move to amend Chapter 255, Article 7 of the East Grandview Town Ordinances to increase certain limits for tax abatements to first responders. Resolved to be hereby, hereby ordained that the town meeting of the town of East Grandview adopt the proposed ordinance as presented. My bad. Thank you, Mr. Doring. Is there a second to the motion Sorry, on the actual business? Point of order, do we, do we have the vote on the waiving? Yes, we voted. Uh, well, let's backtrack a little bit to make sure we're all right. Okay. All in favor of waiving the reading of the full ordinance, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion is carried. Now, Mr. Doring, we'll go back in our time machine as if you had read that right now, which you did a few minutes ago, and ask for a second on the actual motion. Second. Any discussion on the motion? Mr. Matter Hayden, fact, now you're up. <laughs> it's so rare that we do an ordinance change. So, uh, but with that said, the two ordinance changes are basically technical. Uh, first and foremost, um, the, we're looking to mirror the state uh, legislation uh, and uh, also to upgrade the uh, program that the town had on its own. Uh, I would like to um, thank uh, Representative Zawasowski for she and I worked three years and she got this bill passed and uh, fire department, the chief and I were down uh, talking to people and, 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 and getting support and we certainly appreciate uh, Representative Zawasowski's efforts in this and, and uh, what we're looking to do is we're looking to, to uh, make our town ordinance um, uh, align with the state. Um, and I'll explain the town little curveball. So the, uh, uh, it will increase the tax abatement for volunteer firefighters and ambulance volunteers. Uh, the purpose is to bring this into compliance with the updated state statute. Um, the, oct uh, the maximum benefit is October 1, and this is the state statute part, uh, to uh, October 1, 2019, and ending June 30th, uh, 2021, the, uh, it should be a benefit of $1,500. Currently, it's $1,000 uh, for all eligible uh, Granby Ambulance Association volunteers that reside in East Granby, and $1,500 uh, for eligible East Granby Fire Department members who have attained Firefighter 1 certification. The town twist on this is Several years back, we recognized that uh, it was a pretty arduous uh, commitment and process to get Firefighter 1, and we didn't want to not recognize the efforts of those that were working towards Firefighter 1. So we, um, uh, we had uh, $500 for eligible persons not attaining Firefighter 1 certification. This, would, uh, this change would raise that to $750. Uh, and then on or after July 1st, 2021, the maximum benefit uh, shall be $2,000 for all eligible GAA, Grand Ambulance Association volunteers, 
and $2,000 for all edu uh, eligible East Granby uh, Fire Department uh, volunteers who have attained uh, the Firefighter One certification, and we bumped the town of, uh, benefit for those have, that have not attained the Firefighter One to $1,000. So uh, it's, uh, there's two programs here, there's the state program and there's the town program. Both are being increased. Uh, uh, back in um, 25 years ago, the abatement uh, reflected almost 50% of what the average taxpayer was paying for house uh, taxes. Uh, right now, prior to the legislation and, and uh, the uh, passage by this body, uh, it's 17 percent uh, of the average taxes in town, so it's well deserved. And uh, uh, as representatives of this house, and I have said many times, you take it one step at a time. So we got from a thousand to fifteen hundred to two thousand, and perhaps she and I can continue working together in future years and continue to increase that. But that's not what we're voting on tonight. What we're voting on tonight is the uh, ordinance change that brings us into compliance with the state and also updates the town program. Thank you very much. As you can see, this is a detailed and arduous process. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Thank you, Ms. Sadowski, for working so hard on it. Is there any further discussion? Any questions, comments? Seeing none, all in favor of passing the ordinance, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Neither opposition nor abstentions. The motion is carried. Now let's see if I can get this next one right. <laughs> Our next motion is a resolution to amend Chapter 280, Article 1 of the East Granby Town Ordinance to affirmative state obligations to disabled individuals. I first would ask for a motion to waive the reading of the ordinance. I move to waive the reading of the amended ordinance. Second. Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Again, the full document is available in the back here or on the website at the First Elections Office at the Town Clerk's Office. Now, may I have a motion to act on the resolution? I move to amend Chapter 80, Article 1. East Granby Town Ordinance to, uh, to state affirmative obligations to disabled individuals. Resolved, he hereby ordain that the town meeting of the town of East Granby adopt the proposed ordinance as presented. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Again, Mr. Hayden, would you care to comment? Thank you. Three years plus, we received an $800,000 grant, small cities grant, from the state of Connecticut. It's federal money that's state administered. And you have to follow through all the different, uh, let's say I think the legal term is hoops that you have to jump through uh, to get all this happen to, to work, and we did. And uh, we helped facilitate that we be in the town, helped facilitate uh, Metacommon Homes, which is a uh, independent nonprofit uh, run by volunteers, uh, to have $800,000 worth of improvement at Metacommon Village. Uh, if that included roofs, sidewalks, parking areas, uh, energy uh, efficient uh, replacement of, of furnaces, and, and several other things. It was a great project. Uh, then we told the state about that we were finished, uh, and uh, the state says, okay, well, within the next six months to a year, we'll send somebody out to close the project out and do an audit. When the audit was completed, everything was fine, with the exception of the fact that uh, the state uh, requested that town uh, ordinances have a additional reference to ADA policies. Uh, my initial non-legal response was, the fact that we mirror the state and federal laws isn't enough. And he wasn't able to explain it to me, but he did explain to me something I did understand, which is I can't check the box if you don't do something about this. So I, we spoke with our town attorney, who is here in the audience tonight. 
uh, and Attorney uh, Donnelly crafted uh, the language here that meets the requirements to help us tell the state that they can close the project out. Uh, and um, I know we did read the motion, but I'm going to read this just so everybody understands what it says. Uh, basically, uh, the language already says the town adapts Chapter 124 of the general uh, uh, Connecticut General State Statutes as amended. And then Section B, which is the change. Uh, in Section A, notwithstanding, the town of East Granby has an affirmative duty to make reasonable re accommodations to its zoning policies, practices, or procedures, including the town zoning regulations as set forth in 280-2 for people with disabilities as defined by 42 U.S. Code. Uh, 12102 and as set forth in the Fair Housing Amendments Act of 1988, specifically 42 USC 3604, um, F3A and B, Americans with Disability Act 1990, Title II, 42 USC uh, 12131, 12165, Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and ORC 4112-02H, uh, 18A, and 19. You can see why we didn't incorporate that in the motion, um, but I did want to read it. So basically what we're saying is that we as a town would do what any reasonable person would do for any reasonable accommodation. We would certainly meet whatever requirements we need to meet. And if we needed to have a meeting with somebody at their house because they weren't able to come, we would do that. So, would you repeat that, Jeff? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that, uh, that basically is, a, is the explanation. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. There'll be a test. <laughs> <laughs> any further comment on the motion? Seeing none, all in favor of the adoption of the ordinance? You signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Seeing neither, the motion is carried. Thank everybody for coming out tonight. It's cold, but it's going to get nastier. Stay warm, stay safe tomorrow. A motion to adjourn will be entertained. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second. No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I can't believe it. <laughs> no abstentions. The motion is carried. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming out tonight.